What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. How are you doing today? Sorry my voice is a little, <clears throat> got a little sickness. But today we're talking about how to turn pots into cash. How to sell pots. This is something everybody that makes pottery wonders about. Yeah, I can make it, but how am I gonna sell it? So we got five different ways that we're gonna sell pots. Let's do it. <laughs> Before we get started on this video, I just want to say a shout out to our sponsor, Continental Clay. They have Minneapolis location, Denver location. They make great clay glazes. Just a great supply store. Check them out, continentalclay.com for more information. Okay, so we're talking about five ways to sell your pottery. So this list that I have, it starts out basically the order that I have kind of sold my pottery. So you don't have to do this at all. You can start with number five, you can start with number one, you can start with number three. But the number one, the first way to sell your pottery is to friends and family. I remember when I was first starting out, one of the first things that we did was EC, my wife and I, who's also an artist, we put together a little art show uh, and we just invited our friends and family and said, hey, if you wanna come along and uh, check out our pots, buy some pottery. So that's number one, friends and family. Number two, and this is probably one of the most popular ways to sell pottery, is at arts and crafts shows. So you set up your 10 by 10 foot booth, you set up your shelves, and you sell pots. So this is a great, really common way for people to do it. Summertime, I mean, you get a ton of people in one area coming through looking at different art. Um, some of the pros to selling at art fairs is you have people that are there to look at art. They have money to spend. You capitalize on a lot of people that are coming through. Uh, you don't have to pack and ship any pottery. Most of the time people are there. They're ready to take it home right then. Some cons is you have to pack it up and travel, set up and take down can really take a long time. So there it is, number two, pros and cons of art and craft shows. Number three would be sell it in retail locations. So retail for me would kind of be like what I do with Mocha Monkey. So I sell the pots in my coffee shop. And so retail could be anywhere from coffee shops to like gift shops, um, like home decor shops, that sort of thing. Some pros and cons to retail, selling in retail. You don't keep 100% of the money. Most of the time when you sell out of retail, they're gonna take a percentage, a cut. Um, that's obviously a con. A pro would be you don't have to pack and ship it. You bring a bulk load or you send a bulk load and then they worry about the logistics of distribution. Yeah, retail. The fourth way, to sell your pottery would be through a gallery. And so galleries, it's similar to retail, it's kind of the same thing, but the only difference is, is that a gallery is more of an art uh, centered area. And so they're gonna display really nicely. Often, <clears throat> a big con to this one is often the galleries will take 50 50, so you're actually only getting 50%. So for that reason, they price it higher, uh, but typically the person that goes into a gallery is looking to spend a little bit more money, so. That's that, that's the fourth way. And last but not least, the fifth way to sell art. How to sell your art. The fifth way is online. So this one, I'm gonna do a whole video about just ways to sell online, but I'll go through some of them really quickly. So online, you got Etsy, you got eBay, you got Kickstarter, you got Websites, WordPress, Squarespace, what else? Wix. There's an endless amount of ways to sell online. So the bonus, so my bonus one, so it's actually six. This is number five and six. They're kind of combined, but they're kind of separate. So you can sell online through a place like Etsy, eBay, whatever, Kickstarter, but you can also sell online through the social media sites. 
So like Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, you post a picture on there and you say, hey, anyone wanna buy this pot? If you wanna buy it, message me. And then people will message you, say, hey, I wanna buy that pot. Then you use PayPal or you use Venmo and then you can take payment and then you send them their pot. It's as easy as that. I mean, basically selling pottery or selling art in general, it's as easy as that. You're collecting money from somebody and you are giving them a pot in return. So you were just looking for different ways to do that. The pros and cons to online. The huge con for selling online is packing and shipping. You got a package, you gotta ship it. It takes time, it's expensive, it um, isn't for sure. You have breakage, things break. Um, but the huge, huge pro to selling online is that you're opening yourself up to the entire world. Six billion people have the opportunity to buy your pots. Tune in for a, uh, one of my next videos. I'll do a whole thing about just selling pottery online. So that's things like, we just completed our Kickstarter. All these pots that are back here that you see are all going out for the Kickstarter that we just finished. We raised over $15,000 to help build this studio that we're in. And so that is the Kickstarter. So I'm gonna talk about that. We've sold on Etsy. We've sold stuff through our website on WordPress. How else have we've sold just like private messages, someone private messages us on Instagram and says, hey, I wanna buy this pot, how much is it? So yeah, there's opportunities online are crazy. We got a package, we're gonna open a package now. We got a package in the mail. Yes, we do. To John the Potter from Paul Bobs. I think Paul Bobs is his name. Oh, oh yeah. So, this is a little sneak peek of the new studio while we open a package. How's the echo? Is the echo still really bad? I was hoping we got stuff in here and it would go away. Maybe it's better? What do you think? Better? Uh, Not better. I will fail. Mm-hmm, yeah. Whoa, that was aggressive. Woo-hoo, yes! You ready, Ryder? You ready? He's super interested. PB and clay. That's very cute. PB and clay. Here, you want this? <laughs> yeah. This mug looks like it's gonna be pretty sweet. Wow. Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah. What do you? What else do you think about it? I You like the brown? Yeah. It's a nice handle. <laughs> yeah. What else do you think about the mug? Very nice, Paul. I love it. Those. It right away. It looks like so smooth on the bottom. My name is Peter Bobs. I'm a ceramic artist and educator. I've been doing ceramics off and on. So check out his Instagram at Peter Bobs or this his studio's Instagram at Clay on First. So thanks, Peter Bobs. Check him out on Instagram at Peter Bobs. And thanks so much for the mug. I really do, I really think it's it's very well done. I don't know, I don't have any critique for it. I like the handle. I got, I'll use it for a few days and then I'll, uh, I'll report back. Oh, cool. California. Advice that he can get about growing the business or being a more consistent thrower. Yeah, do you wanna show them? Show the, show the camera. Show them what it is. Oh. So consistent throwing comes from time on the wheel. That is the one and only thing that makes you a more consistent thrower is tons and tons and tons of time. Yep, 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 that's it. Mug after mug after mug. I think the best thing that I've ever done for my throwing was when I said I was gonna make 250 mugs for my wedding. So everyone that came to my wedding got a mug that I made and it was one of the best things for me as a potter to throw 250 mugs in a matter of a month that I tried to be all pretty similar. So I'd say throw, 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 throw. The more you can throw, throw sets of things. Okay, all right. So the more you can throw sets of things, so if you throw 10 of one thing, or 20 of one thing, or 30 of one thing, um, then that makes you just really consistent. Just keep working at it. So exciting! This video is not about the new studio though, so we're gonna have to wait till it's a little bit more done. I'll give you just a, a quick, a quick peek. Ready? Just a quick one. It's just gonna be really quick. That's it. That's all you get right now. That's all you get. Stay tuned though for some future videos. We're gonna do videos all about this. We just finished making this table. 
finished making those shelves. So nice. Thanks again, shout out to our sponsor, Continental Clay. Thank you so much. We uh, just sent out a couple pots to the patrons. If you wanna support me over on Patreon, we send out, uh, we're sending out three pots every month to uh, the patrons over there. So if you wanna random, right now that would be the only way to get my pottery uh, until we start doing Etsy restocks again. Appreciate all you guys so much. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, comment, share, all those things. I hope this video helped you out. Uh, comment below, what did I miss? What are other ways to sell? Comment below, tell me, how do you sell it? What's your preferred method? What did I miss? I wanna know. All right, that's it for this video. We will see you in the next video. Do it, buddy.